and welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about how to create a facial toner with some apple cider vinegar. Now, um, I don't know about you, but when the seasons change, my skin absolutely changes with it. And I talked a little bit before on the last Pilates show that I did with apple cider vinegar, how you can really normalize and neutralize your body from the inside out. And that's step number one to really healthy skin. Now, step number two is to actually use the apple cider vinegar topically on the skin. It can help anything from rosacea, which is something that I work with a lot. This has been incredibly helpful for that. It can help with acne and just to brighten the skin tone and do a nice exfoliation after you wash your face. So what you can do is just get a nice spray bottle um, at any store. I like to get the glass um, bottles in the blue glass because the sunlight won't change the molecular structures of what you put inside of it. So you can do about half apple cider vinegar or maybe a little bit less if your skin is very sensitive and then I fill up the rest of it with this nice rose water. It smells good. It kind of cuts some of the apple cider vinegar smell. It's very nourishing and calming for the skin. Rose is amazing for your skin. Deeply hydrating. And so you just put it in the spray bottle. You shake it up. You spray about five to seven sprays onto a, a cotton puff and wipe it on the face. You wanna stay away from the eye area, not get too close to the mouth. And it does smell a little bit pungent at first, but it really does go away very quickly. You're not gonna be walking around smelling like apple cider vinegar, but it's a really nice way to, to perk up and brighten your skin quickly. Um, and it's a perfect base to put your moisturizer or facial serum on after. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum.